following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Uh, Daryl Martin, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and a problem with us. Tommy O'Brien's going to be with us any second. I have uh, uh, a, quite a cold here, so we can't, I can't... There's no reason to put him in the same studio... Uh, <laughs> because you don't want this cold, that's for sure. Uh, we appreciate your market uh, growling and prowling with us out here, folks. Uh, right now, we have the Dow down 246. You get the NASDAQ off 82. S&Ps are down 22. We have gold up uh, 750. You get uh, silver up uh, 3 cents. Platinum is flat. We got uh, the oil market down a buck. The bonds uh, continue to higher with volume, big time. You have the 10-year uh, up um, 28 ticks, almost a full point. 30-year is up three full points and two ticks. Pretty amazing. Uh, good old King Dollar is up uh, 851 ticks, which is unusual in the context of uh, uh, dollar up and the euro up. I mean, uh, do dollar up and gold up. Euro is at a buck ten. The yen is trading at 101. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see the banner on the top. And on the side, you can hit that banner, bring it up. You'll see how these defined option contracts trade, whether you're trading currencies, whether you're trading indices, uh, and uh, commodities. Dow Martin, what's going on? Okay, got them there somewhere. Okay, let's go through the marketplace first. Uh, so, inside the Dow Industrials, what we have out here, what, what, is also, what has happened out here thus far, folks, is this. There's zero fear, Okay. Um, you know, we went down pretty good on Friday, had monster, monster volume. You know, you, you're talking about folks trying to get out of the marketplace. We did $2.5 billion on the NYSE, and we did $4.4 billion on the NASDAQ. Uh, bottom line, big numbers. Now, what you have out here today, you still have not got any fear in the marketplace. Your trend on Friday only got to 2.28. You didn't even have a downtick, which is pretty amazing. Uh, what are those... Symbolize well, what they symbolize, folks, is that you need a very large trend reading on top of a couple monster down ticks. Uh, that's what you need in order to get the first bounce going. You know, the, the larger issue here is that we want to go down, this market wants to get out to those February lows. Um, Dow Martin, what's going on, man? Hey, am I coming through over there okay for you now? You are coming through fine, man. All right, excellent. So Tommy's not feeling too good this morning, huh? No, it's me. It's me. Oh, oh, you. Yeah. Okay. I, he's I'm... getting set up, set up in the other studio right now because <laughs> the quickest <laughs> way to like, get... I ain't going to be right next to you with all that. Yeah, the quickest <laughs> way to get this is sitting right next to me. Exactly. Sad but true. So we get quite a market here, man. No, we have, we have a good market. Uh, looking over at the S&P right now, it's pulling on down to the 0.7 deviation level. It's been uh, trying to push uh, down really ever since the open of this morning. Yep. And uh, so we'll see, you know, how far that goes and how much uh, strength that has. But right now it's, you know, got some decent strength to give it a move down. I don't know how much further down we're going to go. Like you said, it'd take a lot more. Uh, it, 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 it is It is breaking down the lows that we had, you know, uh, of the lows of the last night session. Yes. You know, the European session, whatever. Yes. And Asian session there. And uh, so we actually just broke below those. Like I said, we're down to the 0.7 deviation level. And uh, there's really, I don't see if there's a big reason why we wouldn't go lower. Uh, so we're really starting to hit off the lows now of the lows we had on Friday, whenever after all the announcements came out. Right. Right there at 1 a.m. So this is a point where are there more sellers below the market now? Is there anybody wanting to buy the market back up at this point? Uh, I'm just trying to like go back and just look at you know the history that we have here. Sure. And you know we had that big crash down you know at night after they made all their releases, right? And then Friday it just sort of went flat and it went back up, and it came back down to almost that line, and then now it's literally playing right at it again. So just looking at the S and P 500 futures market. Yeah, and you know when you have folks, this is going to be a really deviant little 
deal here because the, the way you, you have Monday in the oh, summer. And it's 2,000. It's the level 2,000. So it's going to be a big psychological number. That's oh, where. Yeah, it, let's look at that. Okay. That's cool. what it dropped to at 1 a.m. Yeah, 1 a.m. right there. Okay. That was about. That was right about when everything came out, like the final ruling and all that. <coughs> so Excuse me. It dropped down to right at around 2,000. So, you know, that whole, I mean, you got three zeros there. Those round numbers have a psychological impact. Yeah. And it fought its way back up from there. Yeah. And yeah. right now we're down, we're just a few ticks below 2,000. So that could easily become a very strong resistance level. And uh, as the market starts to break through it right now. So we just got to get a little increased volume and, uh, you know, help give it some, you know, more steam. Yeah. And uh, right now I see volume declining versus increasing. It so is. I, it, it looks to me right now, I'm trying to figure, it's 1014. So we're right on the verge of the first bounce out here today, folks. That's what this, That's how this is looking right now. Let me ESU. Now, if volume increases, I mean, this thing could just, just say, hey. Oh, yeah. No, listen, man. I think it's going to be a nasty day. It's going to keep going. But nothing just... Yeah, see, like right now, we're four minutes into this bar and there's really light volume, man. I mean, really light volume. So on E minis, you're at 29,000 versus 112,000 on a 10 minute on the NQs. You stay right there, folks. Daryl, myself, Tommy, we're coming right back. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. We'll be right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down uh, 270. You get the Nasdaq off uh, 90. S&Ps are down uh, 26. Uh, if you go overseas and we take a look at the uh, DAX, uh, DAX right now is down 2.4%. Uh, uh, the FTSE is down 2. Uh, Dow is down 1.5. The S&Ps are down 1.3. And the composite is down 1.9. Uh, so bottom line, folks, uh, you know, this market still wants lower price. If you haven't test drove that Nadex product yet, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You can pull up the exchange. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. And this couldn't be a better time to see how these defined options trade, folks, because uh, there's nothing like having defined risk in a market. In a market at any time, in a market like this, it's absolutely crucial. So we, we get some action out here, Daryl. Yeah, we're starting to get a little breakdown. So yeah. it's uh, it's pushing for it. It's trying. It is. And, you know, what, what you have, folks, uh, Europe just continues lower. Let's see, six. <coughs> um, this thing, uh, you know, a lot, the larger issue is that this one's lower price, man. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get interesting to see how this bounce comes about because th there will be bounces. But if you're gonna, if you buy a bounce intraday, folks, you better put a stop right underneath it because all the surpri surprises are gonna come to the downside. What will happen? You get a small bounce, and then it'll let loose to the downside again. You get a small bounce, let loose to the downside. Um, these bonds are dictating the world right now, and these bonds. If you're in the hard asset business, folks, you're in good shape because <laughs> these, you know, it. it it's hard conceiving that our bond yields can go lower, but they're going not only lower, they're going a lot lower. It's amazing. The 30-year bond, Darrell, is trading at 2.29 this morning. 2.29. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Just to give you an wow. idea, let me see this range. So the range for the year is 2.29 to 2.75 this year, right? Let me see yeah, if I can, boy. Yeah. I can do this a different way. If I did this and I went... If I brought this back, <laughs> this gets wild, man, because this, the yield in the 10-year so far is 1.46. Today's the low to 1.92, just in one year. You know, next break, I'll, I'll take a look at that and see how I can stretch that out longer. Because when you stretch it out longer, it's pretty phenomenal, folks, when you're looking at um, how these rates are going down. Uh, we go over to the XAU, the HUI. What you're looking at inside the gold market, folks, is that they both are in confirmed ABC structures on the way up. Uh, the XAU up 58 cents right now at 94.28. The HUI, the Gold Bugs Index, is up 388 at uh, 241. And, you know, a couple of the targets are saying, yeah, the gold stocks are acting crappy, <laughs> to quote. Um, the bottom line, now, this is where the deviance comes in, folks. There, there's, no, there's no doubt. There, when you look at the contract and you look at how far they, you know, that gold has actually gone up. But you've got to look at what the equities have already done. The equities have already gone up three, four, five hundred percent. If you're looking for another 500 percent in the next three days, you're not going to get it. That's, that's what it comes down to. So if you stay with the percentage moves that they've already had, it's pretty incredible. You know, there's, there's no two ways about that. Um, and if you are a gold bull, um, go look at Franco Nevada. That not only took out its all-time highs, it's, it has an additional ABC structure on the way up. And then Royal Gold just confirmed another ABC structure on the way up. And then Rango Resources is going after its high. Those three equities there, folks, are saying that the metal price, the gold price, is not only up, it's going to continue to go to higher price. So it's pretty incredible watching that whole thing shake out. Okay, so NQs, they finally got a little pop here. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Hello and good morning. How, How are you are doing, you? man? Good morning, Daryl. Uh, there he is. 
I'm here. Yeah. So you, you put yourself in the hyperbolic chamber to keep away from all the germs out there. That's oh, what's going on. It was terrible. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know that that, that had been revealed. But yes, that, that is the case. Somewhat. There's been a quarantine situation in our main studio. I don't. So I know, man. <laughs> I didn't. You know, it's so funny. I but you gotta love technology, right? What did I do? Seriously. So I don't. Right. I don't have my headset that I usually use when I'm online um, at home. Yeah. And so I, I just plugged in using like a standard cord with earphones and your microphone which sounds great that way the mic's right next to your mouth which you need as opposed to using the one on the computer and you run down to your office and you're live from you know <laughs> streaming from your office you gotta love it it's seriously man <laughs> it's pretty cool when you put it in that perspective right there, there's no yeah. doubt you know and I, I didn't i didn't know my voice was actually this bad because i haven't been talking in the two days so I had to ask Al three times if he's sure that we were weren't having audio issues, but that's unfortunate. You're oh, sick really? too, man. That's, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh my God. I, I thought it was just, uh, but that's no fun that you got to cough, man. Hopefully you'll be able to. Yeah. Shake it off. Shake it off. That's right. Use the use the energy of these markets to uh, yeah. kick kick its butt. Exactly, man. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Wait, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So, um, so what do you guys got going for July fourth? Well, well you going out on the boat? Yeah, we'll definitely go on the boat. I was in the Get boat. Get some sunshine? Yeah. Were you on the boat this weekend? Yeah. I, I was. Yesterday we were out all day. I was out all day, and it was it was fun. I figured I'd stay in the salt water and try to shake this thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I guess it didn't. I think it broke it up, though. That's what it did, which is good. See, I'm actually we... sound worse, but I'm probably better, folks. <laughs> well, if you feel, I mean, as long as you feel okay that's that's really but uh we'll, we'll just keep you in the quarantine you'll be fine yeah, it's real simple man with a market like this how can it feel bad <laughs> perfect I'm glad you it doesn't that, man. happen <laughs> man it doesn't happen there's no way man awesome um so let's let's go take a look and see what the strength versus the weakness uh, is here the um yeah, I'm, I'm seeing s p it's breaking down so yeah and uh, you know the the, the Dow, there's not one Dow stock that's in the positive, folks. Uh, J.P. Morgan's the leader on the way down at 3.6%. If you want to see some destruction in the banking se sector, folks, okay, check this out. You have, <coughs> excuse me, RBS was down at 22% in London. 22%, yeah, 22%, like insanity. Um, Barclays down 18%. So picture this. RBS was trading at uh, 750 on Thursday. It's at 460 today. <laughs> like sick, sick numbers. Pretty amazing, yeah. It really is. It's 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 just unbelievable. Uh, in our own markets, these financials continue lower, and that's that interest rate, man. I mean, this interest rate structure, we and I know every time I go through this, and Tommy, we go through it every day almost. That. It's not only lower, though. It's a lot lower this morning. This is, like, huge. This is not small, man. I mean, the 30-year the is down, is up three points. <laughs> three points. Huge. Yeah. It's, it, it, you almost, like, can't explain how big of a move it is almost. Yeah. E exactly. Exactly. Well, here, this is what gets so crazy. The 30-year, folks, okay? The 30-year is at 2.29%. <laughs> Wild. You stay right there, folks. Tommy Dow and myself, we're coming right back. Um, Dow right now is down 280. NASDAQ is off 94. S&Ps are down 26. We're going to be right back. Today, many commodities are trading at relative lows. And now you can take advantage with EverBank's new limited-time, five-year, market-safe currency comeback CD. This indexed and U.S. dollar-denominated CD offers 100% principal protection and is based on the equally weighted performance of currencies of Australia, Canada, Chile, Mexico, and South Africa. These five countries are especially rich in commodities, and their respective currencies are poised to do well should commodity prices begin to recover. Keep in mind that no APY, a periodic rate of interest, is paid on the CD. Don't miss out on this innovative new financial opportunity. CDs must be opened and funded by the upcoming July 14th deadline. To apply online and learn more about the CD, including product terms and disclosures, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN now. This advertisement is sponsored content 
Everbank is a member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Daryl Martin, Tom O'Brien, I do appreciate your growl and prowling with us out here. Let's go to Tom in Plymouth. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, Jim, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Morning, Tom. Other, other in the throat, I guess, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I just I liquidated this morning all the, all the gold and silver that I had, so I'm pretty happy about that. Okay. Um, but I, but, but I'm looking to maybe get a real pullback on this gold and maybe jump back into that UGLD by the end of the week. What are your thoughts on that? So let me take a look at it. The, the UGLD, folks, is the Velocity three times long uh, exchange traded note. Um, okay, so let's see. The note provides the cash investment of the underlying index, which is the s p gold index excess return okay so you know i i don't see a pullback right now man you know i i, I think that the, the the you know the c to d legs already started man and that's the straight line move so you know it's it's kind of just laying up here you know but that would be the you know the the way to do this is that yeah if you get a pullback buy it man you know what i mean you got what you have inside the gold market right now, folks, is you have multiple ABC structures. And what that means is this, is that you have a smaller ABC inside larger ABCs, and that brings your probability much higher that this market's going to continue to higher price. So, you know, that being said, Tom, any pullback, you know, be all over it, man. Yeah. How much gold did they actually have to buy back on Friday? Did you know the, or, or um, that? Um. Let's see. I didn't see that come across yet, but let's see if we can find that for you. Um. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Lee, you'll love this. Nine hundred and thirty-four metric tons. Yo. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot of gold, and they'll have to buy. That's the twenty-fourth. So that was Friday. Um. That's a that's that's a lot of gold, and what ends up happening is we'll see if that's it. Are in fact that they have to buy more tonight, you know. But okay, well, yeah, hey, uh, thank you, you guys. Uh, if I don't talk to you, have a great fourth and uh, shake that cold. You also, man, have a great one, have a safe one. <laughs> All 
All right, take care. You know, if you go, if you go over, if you if you're test driving this Nadex product, folks, okay, this is, you know, we have a Monday going. You can go into the weeklies. I mean, there's a lot of different options that you have available at the beginning of the week. Well, every day, but the beginning of the week in particular, particularly when we get a market like this. Um, it's going to be interesting, man, watching this whole thing shake out. And lots you know, of action, man, for sure. I'm sorry, what did you say, Tom? I just said lots of action and lots of action to come. For there sure. is. There is. And, and you know, the, the premiums aren't that bad, man, inside these. They're not, uh, they're not horrible. They're no. not. They're not. Like, and a lot of the FX brokers went back to their normal margining. Okay. So that, that means that the fear is actually coming out of the market, which would lower the premium down and make a, a lot of the option trades more tradable. Right. And that's, that's, that's one of the main reasons I think we're going lower, too. Isn't that interesting? Cause, <laughs> well, because the, the, it's so weird, man, that you could be down like this and zero fear come in. You know, it's just, it's just counterintuitive, man. That's not how markets, uh, you know, basically bottom out. You know what I mean? Or even bounce. You know, you, you need some kind of a, just a, a good downdraft, which we had, but then you need the fear to come in simultaneously, which, which we did not have. You know, so lo the longer issue is that I expect, you know, you, we got a decent trade market, but those lows want to get tested. If we go over and we take a look at the, um, financials you'll see that you know good old JP Morgan is leading it down you know we're at fifty seven dollars and fifty two cents well the high of the low for JP Morgan is fifty three ninety one so you're not that far away from it um, and oh I know what we want to look at Google was generating there you go so check this out folks Six, oh yeah so, yeah, and Google is one of the first ones. Now, this is where you, you want to wrap your head around how this works. So, we always talk about high volume lows, high volume highs, all of the above, right? Well, in, in the case of Google, it had a high volume low, $663, volumes 4.2 million. Well, we've hit 665 today. This is going to build cause to get into that level, and the real key is, does it break it? If, if Google breaks that level, then get out of the way, man, because that would be saying that the S&Ps will get down there, build some cars, and we'll see whether it, it breaks them apart. But that's how that is set up right now. So, pretty wild. Um, NQU, and you know, folks, oh my God, sorry. Sorry. The, um, the volume on Friday was amazing, man. I know they were doing a reshuffle also of the, uh, the Russell uh, 2000, I believe, but the bottom line is that the, the volume showed that this thing wants lower price. You know, we did 2.5 billion on the NYSE, we did 4.4 billion on the NASDAQ, which is just insane. Uh, if we take a look at inside the NASDAQ uh, today, the strength versus the weakness, there's only three NASDAQ 100 stocks that are in the positive. Cablevision is one of them, or Comcast, rather. Uh, Whole Foods is up two cents, and Charter Communications is up, uh, <coughs> excuse me, up 55 cents. WorldCom, I mean WorldCom, Western Digital uh, is the number one leader on the way down, down 7.9%. Big, big number, man. You know, you were talking about gold earlier. Yes. Yeah. You know, I, I was looking at the gold report that you put out, of course, on Mondays, and um, it was kind of interesting, and I know you talked about it just because of the substantial move gold companies have had already. Yes. But um, it is kind of intriguing that with that big of a move, you can see where some companies really benefited and other companies, you know, they, they did move even close to as much as you might have anticipated. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's no doubt. And, yeah, what you're going to start seeing is you're going to start seeing a breakaway from these different companies, folks. Uh, but it's kind of, it's, it's evident, quite evident, uh, looking at some of these equities. It was nice to see that I know you closed the position on one of the trades, and, you know, I won't say which yeah. one, but I, I was thinking the same thing, you know, just with with that type of action, right? Would you want to be long if, if... No. Right, and that's, so that was cool to see that you had done that. 
And thanks, Tom. And, and we're, we're talking about folks. If you have stocks that are weak in a market that's going up like this, folks, cut them. Just cut them, man, because there's something definitely wrong with them. Yeah, let's I would go. Agree. Yeah, let's go to Mark in uh, Bedford, New Hampshire. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Hi, How you been, man? <laughs> I bought your goal report when it first came out. Yes, thank and, you. Uh, it, it's been a nice ride uh, lately. I mean, I'm, thank God we're back in the bull market. You know. Yes, no doubt. So thank you. You made me a lot of money, and I actually went long real estate few years ago and um, now I'm getting ready to sell a bunch of it. Now it's a double banger. It's a beautiful thing, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. Hey, you stay right there. We'll do the GDX when you come back. This is uh, Daryl Martin, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate the growl and plow. I'm going to stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n-a-d-e-x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with uh, Mark from Bedford. We're going to be talking about the uh, GDX. GDX. So do you own this right now, Mark? Are you looking to buy it? What are we doing here? You know, I've been long since I, I actually traded out a couple of weeks ago and rebought last Wednesday. I just stay right there, man. It's a monster ABC up. You know, you got uh, the the eight point on this is 1240, which is the low out there of uh, January. The B is uh, 26. 
So what's that? Uh, what's that? Like approximately fourteen dollars, which gets you twenty-one, thirty-one, thirty-five bucks. You know, and it's broken everything with volume. Now that's a longer-term aspect, but bottom line is that you know there's real action here, man. And the the bond market it continues to confirm that it's going to be less expensive to own gold. And if it doesn't cost anything to own gold or hard assets, folks, all this money thrown at the market eventually is going to basically, <laughs> you know, bring prices up. It's, it's that cut and dried, man. So. so, Tom, where would you put a stop in it right now? The, G, the GDX, what, what I've done is this. I actually brought all the stops up. Uh, well, you saw that in the gold report. Um, so what I would do, I would tuck it right under... See, the last high, big high volume buy before Friday was uh, on June 3rd at 25.36. Yep. I'd put it right under yep. 25.36. You can put like 25.04 or something because that should insulate Excellent. it. You know, and then you got the other bar there at 25.42. Both of those, if they got into it, you know, they get a lot lower. So it's like, why just put it like 20 cents underneath that level, man? Excellent. Thank you. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Yeah, so the weekly, the you know the we, here. Let me let me bring this uh, platform over for a second. So, if we take a look at the weeklies out here, get into this. Weeklies, weeklies. Right. Sorry, folks, I'm being slow here. <laughs> You're getting there, and we're all watching your screen. It works. I Go know. I'm, I'm, I'm into the indices. Then, why did I call it? Oh, I see. One second. I got to get. There we go. So, actually, I want to go into the Tech 100. So, if I go into the NASDAQ. All right. Um, you know, right now, we got the NASDAQ trading at uh, 41.94. So the real kicker here is, you know, what I would try to do is this. I try to wait for one more, like, downdraft and get a test of this low, MQU, which doesn't look like it wants to test it just yet. Um, and then you'd go, I'd go for something on the upside by Friday. Because you're going, what's happening, folks, is that you're, you're coming into, and you don't have to do it today, you're coming into the July 4th weekend, and just that in general could get a little bounce going. And everyone would be excited, but there'll be no volume on the bounce. Do you know what I mean? Um, sure, yeah. And so, let's see. 41.89. Ooh, these are still these are these are expensive. <laughs> Look at this. It, it, it'll be forty two eighty nine. Still cost you twenty five dollars. Yeah, these don't work for me right now. <laughs> right? I, they, just, yeah, they I, just they, don't. I understand for sure. I was even. I had looked Which at. Which one are you um, looking at? Any looking of them. The I, I don't want to pay twenty five dollars or twenty dollars for a binary that's a hundred and ten points higher. Which we know can be there in a heartbeat. You know what I mean? But. Right. That's just not up my alley just yet. Yeah, they're fair odds. It's just that, you know, there's a lot of volatility. And, and so yeah. it's priced in to at least a certain degree. It which it makes sense, right. And, and, right. and what we don't It's not absurd pricing. You no, know, it's, it's not. not. It's not. But it's not, it's not as cheap as we've seen it many days, you know, for sure. Yeah, and it's not. I. As it shouldn't be. It's probably right where. Right. Right. You know, it is right where it should be because that's where it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm still watching this Nasdaq spread dropping down a little bit. So. Yeah, I'm 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 sitting here. I've been trading the 20 minute binaries. <laughs> oh, see, I'm doing the spreads going short. You're doing the 20 minute binaries. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for this move down to ideally this one deviation. So. What What is one deviation? What number? 1984.25. So you know. 1984.25. Yeah, so if I, mean, if I hit 1985, you know, out. Well, that's good. No, I know. That's that's awesome. Okay. 
What about on the NASDAQ? Do you have? I don't have the NASDAQ one up right now. Okay, okay. So we're Got that. 40. I was just watching the S&P this morning and sort of went with it. Yeah, I know. I'm with you. Yeah, this thing wants to... You get eight minutes in this bar. It looks like it's going to take another leg down. Man, what a trip. <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you, folks. You know, it'd be really wild if, if this, I was, when I was doing the newsletters this morning, I, I was saying, this would be really weird if this is going to be a razor slice on the way down. What a razor slice is, folks, is that every day, you know, it doesn't do the vicious downdraft right at the open, but it just comes down four, three, four, five hundred bucks, uh, you know, every couple of days. And that is one vicious market because... That smooth downtrend. It is, and what it. happens is that you know, folks that have been long, they say, okay, no, you know, it's orderly, it's okay, it's like orderly, yeah. So it's orderly destruction. It's a bad scene. Man. <laughs> I know. It's, it's it, it just it causes less fear, less chaos. It does. People are more comfortable it, with, the, it, with it, it. Sort of sort of like boiling the frog in water. Right? It's no, it is. It's 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 a bad scene. It's the worst of markets when you're long because what happens is that it's. You know, it's not vicious. You know, this isn't, hasn't been a bad market this morning, but yet, guess what? Um, we're down 300 bucks, and the NASDAQ is off 115. And the European markets are continuing lower, and we're only down 1.75% compared to 3% in the, uh, in the, in the CAT, and 27 in the, uh, in the, uh, the DAX. So there's, uh, there's more destruction to come here, man. Now, what's intriguing is that this dollar... You know, the dollar, folks, has caught a good bid. Now, that being said, it's going up to a swing point, and we'll see whether they can take that out. This, and the swing I'm talking about is uh, 97 to 98. And what you have is this. When we came down in October, I mean February, you came down hard from 98.91 to 97.31. Then we spiked that up March 10th. That's where it looks like it's going to go to right now. And we'll see whether it can handle it. If it does handle it, it's going to be wild watching the metal market because it's like I'm, I'm still really not in the camp that the dollar and the metal can go up simultaneously. And that would mean that uh, one of them are going to have some trouble. They can profit on half right now. Well, yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. You stay right there, folks. Uh, Daryl, Tommy, myself are coming right back. Dow right now is down uh, 309. Nasdaq's off 116. S&P's are down 32. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. 
Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin, as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Daryl Martin, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. And don't forget, folks, you can uh, test drive that Nadex product anytime that you'd like. Just bring up the, hit the banner. You can bring up the exchange. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. And uh, you can um, trade along with us uh, each and every uh, Monday and Friday. And, of course, uh, Tommy and I do the show every day at 10 o'clock, and we're always trading this product. Um, you know, volatility out here, bottom line continues. Uh, for Monday in the marketplace, we actually uh, have some juice. Uh, oh, look at this. The NASDAQ, folks, is toast. The NASDAQ, Daryl and Tommy, already have 733 million shares. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, actually. Yeah, I'm just from thinking I'm about the it. Last bit of my profit, just to close it out so everybody knows. Nice. Um, I, I was just going to say, you know, I was trying to say, is this really like, could this could this be another huge day, right? Um, and I think it could because you're seeing that just from like the Royal Bank of Scotland stuff that there's yeah. huge digestion still of this news kind of breaking. So, oh, yeah. There's I'm, I'm sure people are in freaking shock with the Royal Bank right. of Scotland being down 20% and Barclays being off 18%. That's, you're talking about... Two major banks in the world, right? Yeah, and you know that they're down that from the close of Friday. Yeah, yeah, because they got they got toasted and roasted then too. So, so you know, basically that just should prove for sure that definitely everything wasn't digested. That needs to be digested to figure out what's going on as of Friday. So that's still happening. Yeah, big time. Let's go to Max in Houston. Hey, Max, what's going on? Yeah, good morning, guys. I got a question. Um, I was looking at selling the weekly binaries for the S&P, the 1940 and a half, so it's a, you know, it's way out of the money. Uh, I was curious if you all think it's the market's enough juice this week to, you know, get somewhere near, you know, that, that area, you know, make that trade profitable. Because I'd be buying them, at, I'm sorry, I'd be selling them at about 76 now. That's what they're trading for. Okay, so but selling seventy six to make twenty four, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, I, so I I'd wait a little bit longer today to see where this thing shakes out, man. I'd be selling at seventy six to make seventy six and risk twenty four. Yeah, risk twenty four. Sorry. Yeah. yeah right. Risk twenty four yeah. to make seventy six. So my my thing was that I was looking for a bounce, you know. Uh, but I think I may have missed it this morning. <laughs> so I was looking for a little more substantial bounce. So. Well, I'd still sit there and wait. You know, okay. you're only on Monday right now, man. Um, yeah. You know, this thing's not going to go just straight down. You know, it looks like it okay. wants to go straight down, but I don't expect it will. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. It, it, it yeah, but that's, like it, that's but just not how markets go. Listen, I'm a big yeah. bear, but I, you, you, you got to expect bounces. And if you're 
understanding bear market bounces, folks, they're fast, yeah. furious, and they come out of nowhere. So, yeah. you know, th those don't go away either. Things don't change like that, you know. So. Okay. So, I mean, well. it, what would be cool, what would be cool, Max, is if you got that bounce today, and that's when you do that number, because then that number, that same price, because I think you can get that price, but then yeah. what's going to happen on that option, if option's probably going to be at 84 or 85, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I don't be, think that price is that far-fetched to get, you know, by the end of the week. You might get it by Wednesday or Thursday. Friday would be harder, you know what I mean? But. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank guys. you. I appreciate your show. Tommy, Daryl, thanks so much, man. You have a great Love one, you, safe one. Feel better. Yes, I'm gonna. You stay right there, folks. I'm in Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next to Growl and Prowl with you, then uh, TD Ameritrade. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself, folks. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.